48. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. As Autonomous gets started, a quick toss up from Sparky384 is going to sick the landing. That's a cube scored up high, giving them plenty of time to cross out of the community and back onto the charge station. Tremont's Roboteer is also going to be on the charge station for the Red Alliance across them on the field. We see 12 points on both sides coming out of Autonomous on that charge station. Slight advantage red here, 44 to 42. Getting to work right away, we do see Tremont and McQuanago, both of those robots crossing the field, cycling themselves into their loading zone. Their alliance partner, Bison, for this match, reaches up with a cone. Tremont's Roboteers right next to them. Roboteers, though, do need to readjust. Their cone falls out of their grasp onto the playing field floor, but luckily, Roboteers are able to nudge it right into scoring position, quicking, picking up a quick two points for the Red Alliance. Roboteers now are back, trying to recover what they intended earlier. McQuanago crossing over the charge station right behind them. Minute and a half remaining in the match. The Blue Alliance has nearly completely filled that top row. They have three links for the Blue Alliance, working on their fourth in that co-op grid. Sparky placing a cone, a cube already in place. Flying Toasters placing a cube cone, rather, for the Blue Alliance. Both alliances have at least three game pieces in their co-op grid, so only five links required for the sustainability bonus. Roboteers reach up. They're going to add a link to the board for the Red Alliance. McQuanago Bears also complete a link. We're going to have that sustainability bonus locked up for the Red Alliance. Blue is nearly there. They need just one more game piece. Sparky384 is holding it. So is Flying Toasters. They communicate behind the glass. Toasters are going to make it happen for the Blue Alliance. Both alliances, five links at five points apiece and an additional ranking point. 30 seconds remaining in the match now. Red trails it by just two points as we enter the final 30 seconds of the match. McQuanago, they have a cube in their robot. They drop it off. That will be supercharged, but only if they're able to completely fill up that grid. They are awfully close. Eight links scored so far for the Red Alliance. They have done it. Nine links for the Red Alliance. A complete grid and at least one supercharged node. Over on blue, we've done it again. Nine links for them as well. The difference might come down to the eight point differential here between the end game strategy. Three robots for red, docked and engaged. Two for blue, plus a park at the conclusion of the match. An excellent match on both sides. The winner, though, is the Red Alliance. Nine, 199 to 193, that extra point coming out, and then the end game difference that they had thanks to the three robots on the charge station versus the two. That means four ranking points for the Red Alliance, keeping two of those robots in our top eight. Over on the blue side, they score 193, pick up both the bonus ranking points.